Hello, this is Gene. Hey, Gene. Dr. Smith here. Hey, Dr. Smith. How you doing? Good, thanks. I had a neurotrauma patient come in last night with multiple comminuted skull fractures. I did a decompressive craniectomy, and uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to reuse his bone flap. Do you think that uh, you guys at Depew Synthes design a patient-specific implant? Yes, sir. We actually do over a thousand patient-specific implants for cranioplasties per year. Surgeons typically select peak, however, titanium is also an option. How about we go with peak? What does the process look like for that, and how long do you think it would take? Well, the patient needs a CT scan in one millimeter slices or less. Once they do get a CT scan, um, I can pick up the disc with images in DICOM format and upload it to our secure site, ProPlan CMF Online, or your office can upload the data directly if you prefer. Once we do have the data and scan it, make sure it's good to go, uh, the Pew Synthes engineer will then come in and design the patient-specific implant and give you an actual email so you can give any feedback that you may need. Um, from there, if we do get your approval, um, we design and actually manufacture the implant. It takes about five days, give or take. It'll get shipped to me or to the hospital. We'll get it sterilized and we'll be ready to go. Awesome, this sounds good. Why don't you go ahead and send my PA the upload link and I can get that scan over to you today. Perfect, that works. Thanks, Gene. Sure thing, my pleasure. I'll send a link to your PA right now. Thanks. Thanks, talk to you soon. My name is Eddie Edelman. I help design our patient-specific implants for cranial reconstruction. We have the ability to create a variety of designs to help surgeons meet the needs of their patients. For example, we can design single or multi-piece implants, onlay implants, or provide cutting guides for single stage reconstruction. I've just received Dr. Smith's order. Let me show you the design process. First, I'll start by reviewing any special design instructions from the surgeon. Then, I will start designing the implant to fill the void. I want to make sure the implant has a nice tangential fit and is as symmetric as possible to the patient's anatomy. Once the final implant is designed, we'll send it out to the surgeon for final design approval. Hello, this is Eddie. Hi there, Eddie. This is Dr. Smith. Hi, Dr. Smith. Hey, Eddie, I took a look at the implant design, and I love the shape, but I'm a little bit concerned about soft tissue contracture. Is there anything that can be done to facilitate soft tissue closure with the implant? Sure, I'll go ahead and reduce the convexity and send an updated case report today. Thanks, Eddie. I look forward to receiving that. Okay, Dr. Smith. I'll get that design updated and send it right out to you. I'll reduce the convexity as Dr. Smith requested. Once I send out the final case report and Dr. Smith approves, we will send the implant over to manufacturing to be machined out of a solid block of peak. After the final implant has been machined and passed QC, we will pack and ship the final implant.